no sé cuál me voy. El ferro, el porche, la se el Roll Roy. El bote parqueado en San Croix, viviendo la vida como si se va a acabar hoy. Yo, tranquilo en la mía es que estoy. El Richard Zafiro, Dios más los bendiga. Mis hijos no nacen otro como Floyd. La baby le llegan los míos, al día no le falta nada. Las guaguas son negras, están todas blindadas. Tu ronca allá afuera, aquí tú no eres nada. Porque mi tiempo me vale dinero, no te asustes si te enseño todos los ceros. La vida me bendijo porque me mero, soy mi jefe, eso hago lo que yo quiero. Aquí arriba no llegan, tú sabes que aquí es real. Mere, me venga a frontear, preguntarle al banquero, son tres melones semanal. No existe quien me va a parar, se juntaron todos para quererme frenar. Saludos a la federal y al estatal, cambiaste las válvulas ya que pueden balbulear. Getting set for baseball under the lights just outside of Atlanta at Truist Park. Tonight, a compelling matchup of division contenders between the New York Yankees and the Atlanta Braves. Stay tuned for Braves baseball starting now. Oscar Yinawa gets the starting assignment for the Braves. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft, you can go in and out, and anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. So now into the box is DJ LeMayhew. He'll get us started in this one the under the lights. The second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. First offering in there, strike one. First pitch, 720. Here comes the 01. Outside for a ball, one and one. 67 degrees, our game time temperature. Line shot to first, and there's one away. With that, here's a look at the Yankees' starting lineup. What do we need to know about these guys for this evening's matchup on the road, d -Row? Well, Matty, one thing that jumps out at me, and it's eye-popping, is the fact that this team leads the league in slugging percentage. They do it in a variety of different ways. It's just not the long ball. A ton of guys in this lineup that can move the ball into gaps, take extra bases, just great offensive approaches up and down. Be on the lookout for some guys looking to do some serious damage today. He'll start play with that average down in the low 230s. 16 homers and 42 runs batted in. Now the 1-0. Popped up. Riley trying to get there. And this is going to be a foul ball. Rizzo has had his trouble in these matchups, facing right-handed pitching, that is. He shows a lot more prowess against the southpaws. The 1-1 home. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. This is on the ground over to first. Throw gets him, two down. Now it'll be Aaron Judge. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Pitch on the way. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. and oh. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Seared down the first baseline. The 1-1 home. And it's fouled away. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Ready to deliver the one and two. And 
this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. And now the Braves will step up for their first opportunity to score. Jordan Montgomery will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Really like this guy. He reminds me a lot of Andy Pettit, left-hander from the University of South Carolina. Not an overpowering fastball, kind of like Andy Pettit. Low to mid-90s fastball, good curveball. His secondary pitches, he needs to improve on a little bit, but this guy has a bright future. Quality arm from the left side. So now here is Ozzy Albies. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Ozzie. half of the first. And now pitch on the way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. No balls, two strikes. Solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. Ozzie Albies with a solo homer. Number 23 for him thus far. As the Braves get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter a run or two early in the game, and he does just that, blasting a no-doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. In is Jorge Soler. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The 1 0 home is taken for ball two. If you're on the mound right here, you've got to trust your catcher and execute. You know who's coming up to the plate. Two balls and a strike. You get yourself into count leverage 2 0 right there. You're looking to come unglued on something and be very aggressive. That ball had to nip the corner for him not to pull the trigger on it. Count even at two and two. Bases are empty here, nobody out. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And a fastball misses their ball four. And I'm pretty sure he thought that was a that strike. He's thinking, what no do I have to do? Out. Put a bow on it? Ready. Walk it down and put it in the Ready catcher's man. glove by myself? I think it got called a little outside, so he has to put it behind him now. Next, here is Freddie Freeman. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fouled off. Montgomery isn't considered by many to be a, a power pitcher. He doesn't strike out a ton of guys, but he's usually very effective as starting pitchers go. One of those guys that uses his defense and makes the opponent put the ball in play. 
Matty V, not all pitchers are going to be swinging this guy. Even though this guy is a power pitcher, he pitches primarily down in the zone, and he looks behind him and he sees eight fielders with a glove. He needs some help. He's not going to strike a lot of guys out, but he needs some help from his defense. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Soler aboard here at first with nobody out. Swing and a soft liner. And that is into right field, a base hit. They'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. You know, it's funny. The first two cool. strikes are for the fans. You're trying to put balls in the seats right there. With two strikes, it's for the team. You've got to shorten up and find a way, and that's exactly what he did right there. Soft liner into right field for a base hit. And now, Austin Riley. He swings and grounds it to short, and that's through into left to base hit. Now a long throw home, and they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Yeah, Dan, he's got to feel pretty good about that. Not only did he have a great A-B, first good. pitch hack it, but he stop. smoked that ball to mix in a ribby knock. Well, he did. He must have had a pretty good plan of attack walking into that batter's box. And he had an idea of the pitch that he was going to get. And, boy, he sure turned it loose and buggy whipped that one. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. Here comes the 0-1. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. And he fouls this one off. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Well, you know, d every pitcher loves that. Shortstop does a great job just to knock that ball down to keep it from the outfield to keep that runner from advancing all the way to home. Yeah, and, and as a former middle infielder, Dan, we, we love this stuff. This is what gets you jacked up, trying to save runs for your pitcher, give you another chance to execute and get us out of this inning. Into the box now, Adam Duvall. This is line to left. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. A tag, and he's out at the play to double play. And time now to take a look at how these Braves are lined up in this one. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, man, I'm excited to get a chance to see that left-handed hitter, Freddie Freeman. He's having a really nice season, hitting over 300 coming into this one. We all know that that's the magic number. When you hit over 300 for a season, you've got plenty to be proud of. Now we'll see if he can keep it up over the rest of the year. The batter will be William Contreras. And that one yanked just foul. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Looking to minimize the damage here. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. 23 pitches already here in the first inning. One and two. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We'll move on to the second now at Truist Park. It's the Braves two and the Yankees nothing. Second inning set to go. And coming forward the veteran outfielder Joey Gallo. You know these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace even though it's early. Here's the first pitch. 
as it's grounded sharply to first. On to first, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is it. The right field. Time for a look at the Braves on D. And I'm locking in on second baseman Ozzy Albies right now. This guy is an elite defender. Came up as a shortstop through the minor leagues until he dislocated his elbow. Has since moved over to second base. And also, both sides of the plate, a switch hitter with this kind of swagger and this kind of defense doesn't come along often. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. Strike one to start the at-bat. Bases are empty, one man out. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Stanton, a California-born ball player. This is his 12th season in the big league, so he's put together a really nice career to this point. Yeah, Matty, you ain't kidding right there. Ten years, we refer to that in the biz as hitting full pension. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Giancarlo Stanton is sent packing for out number two in the inning. Now the first pitch. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. And a high strike there. It's one and one. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball. You could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. Full count now. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Fouled away. The 3 2 one more time. Swing and there it goes deep to left field and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez number 17 for him on the season and the Yankees are on the board. It's now a 2 1 ball game. I'm sure you know it's coming after that bomb. That's right. Let's check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, we see it was projected at over 450 feet. An incredible home run to watch. Here's Rognit Odor now. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Here comes the 0-1. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. On the screws to shortstop, but caught to retire the side. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's the Braves two and the Yankees one.
ready to go for the last half of the inning. And digging in is the outfielder, Guillermo Heredia. Here's the first pitch to him. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. And that misses one and one. Pitch on the way. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. The 2-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. I'm sure the boys are going to blow him up in the clubhouse for that ugly swing right here. But he has a chance to regroup. Take a deep breath. Take a step out of the box. And know you got a few to play with. Not where he wanted that fastball to be. And it's three and two now. He walked the guy back in the first. And now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy an inning and think you're going to have any success. 3-2 pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Odor has it. And that's the first down. Batting done. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense today. And the guy I want to focus on is second baseman D.J. LeMahieu. I think what we need to take into consideration is his ability to play that position at six foot four, six foot five, with soft hands and the ability to turn a double play. We already know he's an offensive force. At the plate now, Oscar Ginoa can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. One out, nobody on. Chopped on the ground to first. Throw gets him. Two down. Now back. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. He turned around that fastball and drove it out of the park in his previous at bat. So there's got to be a good chance they mix it up right here on him and try and go off speed. One and oh, the count. Now here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. Gloved by LeMahieu. Throw in time and the side is retired. Braves are set down one, two, three. They lead it two to one. Name is Fats and yes, I'm a, never stop me from being a good wager. I get respect from observers. Leading off the inning, it'll be Andrew Velasquez. And they could use a spark the from him side. here. Number 71. From the stretch. Back up the middle. Swanson brings it in. And the throw here is in time. Very nicely done there at short for the first down. So with one away for him here in the inning, let's take a moment to check out the standings. And as you can see, their lead is just a game and a half entering play here today. Into the box, Jordan Montgomery. First offering on its way. The 0 and 1 delivery. That's popped up, and this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. And a minimum effort at bat that time as the pitch is taken for a strike three called, and he'll go back to focusing on pitching instead. Two away now. Well, he's really Second locked pitch. in at this point in the game on the bump. So far this inning, four pitches and two outs. Got the first guy on one pitch, then absolutely dominates this at bat with a three-pitch strikeout. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He 
He's set. Here's the 0-1. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. They still trail it here 2-1. Now at the plate, here is Jorge Soler. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. Jorge Soler. Here's the pitch. Now the one and one pitch. Hit hard up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. So it's an inning opening base hit, and the Braves have a man on. Hey, there's a base hit to lead off the third inning. Talk about having a lot of traffic, D. Roll. He's given up several hits already, so uh, he's been in the stretch most of the game. Yeah, no doubt about that, Dan. That is the name of the game for this offense. They're trying to get this guy in the stretch. Hopefully, he misses over the heart of plate like he's been doing so far up until this point. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0 and 2 now. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's 1 and 2. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Two and two. Soler gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And it's fouled away. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Gallo. Will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now Next, it'll third be baseman. Austin Riley. Austin. He singled in his first AB. <laughs> From the belt, the pitch. He'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Swung on and missed that strike two. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three-two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled off.
Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Runner on first and a double play situation. So you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. In the dirt. In time, and he is nailed at second. Braves go down without a whimper here. They still lead it two to one. Back here with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as the left-handed hitting power threat Anthony Rizzo starts out the inning. First pitch on the way, and he fouls this one off. In the air to right center and carrying well. Way back there now, and gone. Home run. Solo home run here for Anthony Rizzo. Number 17 for him on the season. As the Yankees have tied things up, it's 2-2. Two two. Yeah, and if you remember the previous pitch, he couldn't get around on a fastball and was mad at himself. Well, there's nothing to be mad about anymore unless you're the guy standing on the mound wondering what just happened. Here's big Aaron Judge as he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner. It's 0 and 1 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Come set with the 0 and 1 slider bends into the middle of the strike zone taken for a strike. You know, it's great to be patient, make a pitcher work and all that stuff to try to get walks, but you have to be ready to hit. And that was a really hittable pitch, and now you've got to deal with an 0-2 count. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of okay. the inning. We know he's probably still thinking about that game-tying home run he just gave up, but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it's bothering him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. Here's Joey Gallo now as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Man this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one mostly because he's getting ahead 70 percent of the batters he's faced he's thrown the first pitch strike to. Now a fastball here not close and it's one and one now. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. All even now, two and two. Two runs on two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Fastball is outside, and it's full now, three and two. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. Now the three and two pitch he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That has to make you feel really good as a pitcher, right? You're making pitches all around the zone, and then you bring that one inside. You can't do anything with it. What does it do? It just locks you up inside. You have no chance to put the ball in play. Giancarlo Stanton now. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Whoa. 
breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Strike two taken, a fastball that clips the inside black. A hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out three. of this. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. I win, I win. But a run scores in the inning, and that'll have to be good enough as this solo home run knocks things up. Bottom of the fourth coming up, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right, Heidi, thank you. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that brings up the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson. First offering on its way. Swanson. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. At the plate, Adam Duvall. A bullet to first base. And they'll put the tag on him heading back to first. It's a double play. The catcher. Two gone now in the Braves' half of the fourth. And that brings up William Contreras. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Hey, you think back to the early innings right there. You thought this guy would have been hitting his showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. Fouled away. Two runs, six hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. And good for him. William Contreras has just launched his first major league home run. Hard to say how many more of these he'll hit in his career, but for now, I'm sure he's happy to say he's got at least one. Well, I think that any kid who's ever dreamed about playing this game dreams exactly this. Watching the ball disappear over the fence, then circling the bases in a big league ballpark, he'll be replaying that at that over and over in his head. And now his phone's going to blow up. He'll be calling his parents, his buddies, Everybody's going to be talking about this one. That will bring in Guillermo Heredia now. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Misses downstairs for a ball one and one. One ball and two strikes to count. Bases are empty here with two men out. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. When a pitch is close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. The 3 2 pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Braves 
able to tack on another courtesy of the solo shot. We play four. It's now 3-2 Atlanta. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Here's the first pitch to him. He'll swing and lift a ball fouled off to the left and out of play. In his career, Sanchez is a batting line residing in the 230s. You know, Matty, I know his career batting average jumps off at the page, but this guy can help a roster in a lot of different ways. He brings value to the manager on a daily basis. 0-2, oh here it comes. Try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And it's fouled away. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Here's one that misses inside, and the count's run full now. Three and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter get that pitch count up here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes now the payoff pitch home and a good eye here as he takes ball four and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning and that at bat will put a smile yeah, on that. any manager's face the, the pitch total of the opposing mm -hmm. pitcher just keeps going mm -hmm. higher and higher and he still couldn't put him away so this inning is off to a good start for the guys carrying the sticks on his way out to the mound now is the Atlanta skipper. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So the line score will show he departs after just four innings of work. And you know they wanted more out of him than this, as he won't even stand to be the winning pitcher here. Jesse Chavez takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Odor will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A one pitch on its way. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. He's there and records the first out. So next to hit is Andrew Velasquez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. And so now the Braves will get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. behind 0 and 2 now
Nothing in two count and the pitch. Well, these guys haven't had too many opportunities yet to test the running game in this one, so they could decide to put a man in motion right here. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. So stepping in is Jordan Montgomery. A base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. He's set. Here it comes. And the pitcher will indeed try and move his runners as he gets this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMahieu, trying to bring in the tying run from third here. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Down the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Swing hard liner to left center. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. As he arrives at second without a play, as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. Usually a hitter will shorten his swing with two outs, but not this guy. He puts a big charge into this one and drives in a couple of runs along the way. That can be frustrating as a pitcher when you had a guy on the ropes and you couldn't finish him off, especially when he drives in runs. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate as he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. 3-1 pitch is a slider, and he can't pull the trigger. It's 3-2 and two now. You know he wants to end this inning right here on 3-2, and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. The payoff pitch. LeMahieu at second with two down. Pulled toward right center field. Soler is there. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on one hit, no errors, and one man left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Yankees four, and the Braves three. Jock Peterson will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Behind 0-2 now. Montgomery trying to get there.
Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. Lifted down the line and left. But this will wind up being a foul ball. I know that fastball registered at about 92, 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push the throttle and pull it is being used. Good contact to start out the inning. I thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. First offering. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gallo is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. So two out, nobody on. And that'll bring up Jorge Soler to hit next. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. 2 0 now. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. We're in the fifth inning of a 4 to 3 ball game here. Down the left field line and deep. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The 2 1. Fouled off. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Down in order go the Braves. Still down to run, it's 4-3. Number 67 enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Now pitching for the Braves. Number 67. New inning set to get underway, and digging in is the big time power threat, Aaron Judge. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0 0 count, they don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Tapped out in front of home. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. 
Two away now in the Yankees sixth and set to stand in the ultra dangerous Giancarlo Stanton. He's set and the pitch as he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right hander begin throwing. The 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. The 1 1. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Here's the 2 1 home. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And this is going to be a foul ball. 4 3 our score here as we play inning number six. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Yes. But they hold on to a 4 3 lead. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the game, the left handed hitting first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Nope. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Oh. Talk about certain guys in the lineup that you want to be really careful with. This guy right here is one of those, and you can tell he's pitching awfully cautiously. Now the 2-0. -oh. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. Called strike two as he locks him up there. When a pitcher puts you in a proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Freddie Freeman sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. Into the box, Austin Riley. And he fouls this one off. He's one for two in this one. The wind up and the 0 1. Shot down the line, it's a fair ball. Around first, digging for two. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Well, he was definitely struggling okay, coming into this one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So as he departs, he can't lose this ball game, but he is responsible for the runner at second, meaning it'd be a no decision if that run comes across to score. Clay Holmes enters the ball game to replace the starter, and some may feel he was pulled a bit prematurely. Yeah, and I'm sure the lefty wants to stay out there, too. But this is one of those situations where the manager felt it was time to start playing the matchup game. With the right-handed batter up next, they're hoping this right-handed pitcher gives them a better chance to get an out. 
standing in now Dansby Swanson as he'll take a look at a pitch too low it's ball one he's got hits in both of his at bats so far in this one. That evens it up one and one. Riley leads off second with one gun in the inning. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here comes the one two. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. The one two. Runner at second here with one man out. Hit the other way out toward right field. Stanton giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. So now to the plate, Adam Duvall trying here to plate the tying run from second. Duvall. From the stretch, here's the pitch. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. He's set. The 0-1. Sinker, one ball, one strike. Two out here and a runner at second. Now a swinging bunt. Got him swinging in the dirt. And the throw is wide. And he's safe. The tag and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Brave strand one. They still trail it here, four to three. Seventh inning ready to roll, and next will be the power hitting catcher, Gary Sanchez. Gary. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Ball one. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. The 1-0. -oh. Off stride that time, and it's one and two. Ooh, wait, that was an ugly swing. I'm sure he's not going to watch that one on replay after the game. Here comes the one two. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. So here's the left-handed bat of Rugnit Odor. Fouled away. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Oh, one pitch. Thank you. 
To two balls and two strikes now. A full count for Odor, three balls and two strikes. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. The payoff pitch home. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. Now into the box, Andrew Velasquez. Hit by a pitch last time, perhaps looking for a little payback. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. Now the one and one pitch is strike two swinging. We're in the seventh inning now of a four three ball game. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Redia. He hauls it in without any trouble and there are two away. Jonathan Davis will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 36. First pitch on its way. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Getting on base, a big problem as you see the average there. One home run and four RBIs. The 1 0. Heading out towards shallow right. After it is Soler. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Hey, this is another one of those cases, D World, of not how many, but how many can you score? Lots of traffic. 100%, Dan. It's not about batting average in this league anymore. It's about OPS. It's about driving runs in at the end of the day, and they got to find a way. And they're doing that right now. They got the lead. So now to the plate, DJ LeMayhew. No balls in one strike. Odor over at second. Davis on at first with two down. Well thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. Man, this pitcher is on right now. Pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field, a base hit. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing room. It does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a one-run game where every pitch is so important. You're one pitch away from a solo tying the game up. That's not the case now. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up.
Anthony Rizzo stands in now. And it's fouled away. He's working on a one for three thus far. In there, strike two. No balls, two strikes. Low of the fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. These are the situations right here that make me miss wearing a uniform. The big spot, the cat and mouse of what's he going to throw. I'm down one, two. Can I battle back? The pitcher's trying to put me away. This is what the game's all about. Fouled off. Here he comes again, one, two. Sliced hard on the ground. Oh, and he can't come up with it. The center fielder, number 99, Aaron. And now a crucial spot. Base is loaded. Two men gone. And that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. Here's the first pitch. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Two and oh. Nowhere to put anybody. Two oh count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything. So he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Here's the three zero. Oh. Back up the middle and through into center field. A base hit. One run is scored, and he is in there. Yeah, nowadays the number crunchers would call that a high leverage at bat. Not exactly yeah, yeah. sure what that means, but what I do know is they just doubled their lead, so he clutched up big time right there. Striding in is Joey Gallo. Three across so far in the inning, and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. From the belt, kicks and deals. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. Cut fastball, but that doesn't threaten the zone. It's even at one. Three runs already home here. A ball and two strikes. Here comes the one two. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So three runs on four hits here, no errors, and a couple of men left. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. It's the Yankees seven and the Braves three. Nestor Cortez Jr. will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. 
Last half of the seventh here, and next to hit is the catcher, William Contreras. Going back to that last at bat, that's not an easy thing to do, to pull a breaking ball on the inside part of the plate and keep it fair for a home run. This guy's got some pretty good bat control. Now the pitch. And it's the outside corner, it's strike one. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Nope. And he lays off for ball one. No contact there, and it's one and two. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Two balls and two strikes now to the Braves catcher. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at-bat will continue. The 2-2 two -two one more time is taken ball three. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Now batting, center fielder. Digging in will be Guillermo Redia. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Now here's the first offering. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0-1. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Oh one, here's the pitch. Swing and he launches this one to deep left field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Aire Adrianza will come on to pinch hit here. And if they don't walk him, he'll have a great RBI opportunity with runners at second and third and nobody out. First pitch on the way. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. Four home runs, and he's driven in 24. One and no pitch on the way. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus and making some good pitches. 2 0 count. The pitch is laid off, but in there for strike one. Contreras on third. Heredia stands at second. No outs. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. And he lays off. Ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Number one. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Ozzy Albies. His guys trail by four, but the bases are juiced, so a home run ties it. Now the first pitch. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. When you're hitting in a situation like this, you have to find a way to slow your heart rate down. The pitcher's the one with all the pressure. 
you're looking to keyhole something middle of the plate and drive some runs in. 2 and 0 now. Tight spot. Base is loaded. Nobody out. 3 and 0 now. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. The 3 and 0 pitch. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. And it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful, too. And here he is again still with the bases loaded. Jolie Rodriguez is summoned in the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases loaded, nobody out. Jorge Soler will stand in against the new pitcher, and he couldn't ask for a better scenario as he stands in with the bases loaded and nobody out. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Pitcher on the mound has to find a way to minimize damage right here. Got to believe he's willing to trade two outs for a run. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. Two and one. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Bases loaded here, nobody out. Off-speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to three and one. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts. You can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. And it's up to a three-two full count now. You just can't do that in a game. You cannot swing at ball four with the bases loaded. I had one coach tell me, and I never forgot it, when the bases are loaded, Take the pressure off yourself and just try and get the guy in from third. And he gets him swinging. What a big out there as there is now the one baseman, away. Number five, Freddie Freeman. So next up will be Freddie Freeman as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready with the 0 1. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Way outside, one and two. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And this is swung on and missed. A huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. To the plate now, Austin Riley. Hit hard, but foul. He's two for three and looking for more here. The 0 1 offering. And he fouls this one off. Two out, bases loaded.
Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. We can't hear it from here, obviously, but I think someone in the dugout just yelled, wear it, because that could have been a run. Here's the two and two. That's a good job right there. You very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Here's the payoff pitch. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Wendy Peralta answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Dansby Swanson will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. From the stretch. Clearly, this is a tough situation to be on the mound, but the key here is minimizing. They're up by two, so if he could find a way to get out of this bases loaded jam by only giving up one run, that would be clutch. Swing and a liner, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. And another foul ball. He put himself in a good position jumping ahead 0-2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. Oh and two here it is swung on and he went fishing in the dirt and the throw to first ends the inning. So they do strike for two but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded eighth inning coming up the Yankees lead it seven to five. Richard Rodriguez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ready to begin the eighth, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. In there for strike one. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, D. Rowe, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Into the windup and the pitch. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. Here comes the one-two. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. That swing tells me he was really yeah, trying man. to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Gary Sanchez will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash it back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Rodriguez 
playing here in his age 31 season. He's a five year vet at the major league level. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Fouled away. Here's another one, two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Rukna Dodor waits on deck. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Next to stand in is Rukna Dodor. No hits to this point. Now the first pitch. Hey, this guy has come in and just done his job. Period. The end. Chance to toss a scoreless inning right here with two down. They're only down two. A bloop and a blast, and this game's tied. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. Two out, nobody on. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Ranging back is Aredia. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. They're still up 7-5. Bottom of inning number 8 set to go. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Adam Duvall. Adam. Ball. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. A ball and a strike now. Hit sharply on the ground. Scooped up. And there's one down now. One away for the Braves here in inning number eight. And that brings up William Contreras. And now the first pitch. And a swing through on an off-speed pitch. Looked like he was actually a little late on that one. Hit back up the middle. Throw on to first, two gone. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Chad Green is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Kyle Higashioka will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Stepping in for the Braves, Guillermo Heredia. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AV. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1-0. Bases are empty here with two men out. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. A 
swing and a ground ball to third. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Braves are set down one, two, three. They're down two, seven to five. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Luke Jackson will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Steven Vogt is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. At the plate now is Andrew Velasquez. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Now here's the first offering. One oh. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. That's lifted the other way out to left. Duvall is there and he makes the catch for the out. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Kyle Higashioka trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Good bike to the slider and he takes strike one. Higashioka. A California born ball player. He's a five year vet at the major league level. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0 and 2 now. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. And he got him. So back to the top of the Yankee order digging in D.J. LeMayhew two hits in four attempts to this point. First offering on its way. One oh count here it is. Popped him up. Swanson is there. And he's got it for the final out of the frame. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They lead it seven to five. Aroldis Chapman enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Stephen Vogt. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And it's fouled away. We're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. The 0 1 pitch. This one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Looked like he got fooled on the speed there. Two and two. Fouled off. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMayhew at second. Fielded cleanly, throws in time, and that's out number one. 
Up next, Ozzy Alves. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Oh, dude. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. A one count. Here's the pitch. Chapman has tossed over 30 innings so far this season and has an ERA just under four, a respectable number that he'd like to improve upon in this one. The 1-1. One, one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Judge is there and quickly two are gone here and it's not looking good for the home nine. Next to hit Jorge Soler and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Now the first pitch and a ball one and oh. You have to find a way in this situation to look in that on deck circle and find a way to get your best hitter to the plate with a chance to tie it. The 1-0 pitch. Sinker stays outside and is behind now 2-0. Pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Well, this is a big pitch right here. Two outs in the ninth. The last thing you want to do is walk a guy and bring the tying run to the plate. The 3-0 pitch. Now this guy's got some of the nastiest stuff in the game. It is absolutely no fun for an offense to try and piece together any type of attack when he's throwing this stuff. And he fouls this one off. Two-run game last of the ninth with two away. Final strike for the Braves. He loses him on ball four. That is just a great at bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them. And that never say die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. Next up is Freddie Freeman. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. First offering. Inside, ball one. Has a look, now the pitch. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. I always remember John Smoltz telling me the greatest asset a closer can have is short-term memory. And this situation calls for it right here. He's got to forget that he has any traffic on a base pass and just attack the zone. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rear view mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. 7-5 tonight's final. The New York Yankees used a three-run seventh to help propel them to the win. Jordan Montgomery with his fourth win this season. Aroldis Chapman earns the save out of the bullpen his 21st of the year. So that will wrap things up. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to the show. About what she say, self care like he pray. Give thanks before I eat, pray. But tell a hater that I eat, pray. I'm like Miami where the heat set. Now I'm riding up the two, two. You would think I'm in the six, six. Born Jan 26, 36, but I never the brick. When I shoot, I never brick. When I shoot, it swish. Our final line score tonight first for the victorious Yankees, seven runs, seven hits, one error. They left three men on base.
for Atlanta. Five runs on nine hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 33 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Truist Park, 41,500. The Braves thank you for your continued support and remind you to please drive home safely.